Hey guys, today we tie a Martin's minnow, a little birch fly, and we tie it onto a partridge hook. It's the uh, Universal Predator Jig 90, and we have a tungsten bead here from uh, Flies and More, 5.5 um, millimeters, only in green here, and it's a slotted bead, and we uh, put some red blue red ambulance UV essence in from Golf, so the bead is already tied and now we can start tying the fly, it's a really easy fly but uh, you see here got a nice UV hot spot so we tie this one here with a 100 GSP or 50 GSP from Vivis just and get the thread all over the uh, hook shank and then the fly just has two different materials in it um, one is ripple ice fiber and uh, we tie on this pattern here an uh, olive, uh, not olive, chartreuse white colored birch fry um, so we just take a bunch of the ripple ice fiber and uh, line the the fibers a bit and just tie them down here on top of the hook shank um, with the short end sticking out maybe 2080 something like that and just move it a bit back uh, in front of the hook and then fold the uh, remaining fibers back just um, tie them down you can stroke through here some loose fibers are always there you can just place them on top of it again and uh, just tie them in so we don't waste any materials then we take some more of the um, pearl colored ripple ice fiber tied in 50 50 like that turn the hook around get everything fixed like that now it's already the last step of ripple ice fiber so we tie in again a small amount of ripple eyes. This time on the top we have to this will be the belly of our fly. So we tie in some ripple eyes fiber here. Like that. And then we take some of the chartreuse one. And just turn the fly around tie that one in like 70 30 something like that so the chartreuse is going all the way back to the uh, tail and then we just fold it back somehow around the uh, thread of our bobbin and just tighten it we can turn the fly around again get everything tight and that's nearly it. So we just tie in a little bit of uh, of monster duck now. So we take the uh, white pearl for the belly. Just align the fibers a bit. Tie it in onto the belly side. And then we take the dirty chartreuse. Also here align the fibers. And then just tie it down. Here make sure you're all the way up to the beat. Like that. And then you can tighten it. Make a knot. And cut your thread. Now we apply a little bit of the, uh, the Gulf Minute Man. To the 
thread here. It's just some other uh, super glue, but this one just it doesn't. The bottle doesn't doesn't close that quickly at other you know, super glues, and of course, if you uh, put some of your tying wax around the lid, um, you prevent it from getting stick anyway, uh, stuck. So take the fly out, just to get the shape a bit, and just brush it a little bit. Just a cheap cat brush, one of the essential tools when you do uh, streamer tying. And then we just get the hook in again. And now we're using tear mender just a bit. And on the other side as well. And just use your dung needle to get it in there. Like that, and then I like on this pattern to use some eight millimeter eyes. Just put them onto the tear mender. And then make sure the eyes are aligned. Grip an eye tool and get the eyes fixed. And then we have a finished fly, multi minor fly. Looks like that. You can see that. Enjoy tying.